Hi, um, this is Andrew Twidwell, owner of ABT Plumbing, Electric, Heat, and Air. Wanted to show you a solar panel that I installed on top of my Avion trailer. Um, what I did is I went out and bought a pretty inexpensive solar panel, 45 watts, at Harbor Freight. I think it was about 170 bucks. I think they're down to, gosh, maybe $150 now. Anyway, I installed them on top of the roof of the trailer here. I am a plumber, so I got, had a lot of plumbing parts. I didn't have a lot of aluminum. So I used plumber's pipes, AB, PVC pipe, to help attach this thing to the roof. So I needed to do something to prop it up to get it over some of the stuff underneath there. Had an old antenna that I had to get it above. Anyway, mounted it on top of the roof behind the air conditioner. Ran the wires down through the vent for the um, refrigerator and ran the wires down through into the refrigerator and I'll show you what I did down there. Bear with me as I climb down this ladder. So what I did is I give you this little controller that converts it and makes it so that it's a constant flow and also so that it doesn't overcharge your batteries. Right now we're at 12.2. Um, haven't really been using the trailer, haven't charged the batteries in a while. It's enough to keep the batteries kind of um, fresh, but it extends our travels for an extra couple days. It's not a lot of power, 45 watts isn't a whole lot. But for us, it you know helps us when we're dry camping, we can hang out for a couple extra days and not run out of power. Anyway, so I ran it into the closet here from the refrigerator and then ran the line, ran a wire down underneath the trailer and over to the batteries. Pretty simple system. Um, like I said, it only cost me about 150 bucks. Actually, it cost me 180 bucks, but now it only costs about 150 bucks. And um, if anybody wants to have an inexpensive way to install solar to their trailer, that's not a bad thing. One thing that we also did was I changed out some of the lights here to LEDs, which really extend our stays, and they're super bright. I think we spent another hundred bucks on those, but man, they really extended it because the old um, lights that were in here, the incandescents used a lot of power, so I switched them to the puck lights. You can see here and rewired them, and uh, man, it really, really helped out. Anyway, I thought I'd share a couple little power-saving things and solar things that you could do on a trailer, and... Talk to you later. Bye.